Happening today, the Hamilton County Heroin Coalition will take another step toward fighting the epidemic. Well, the coalition is bringing together a diverse group of people to better understand heroin's impact on the community. Not on your side, Allie Kramer joins us live now. So, Allie, who do they want to really join this group? Well, Chris, right now we know that they want former heroin addicts to be a part of this group, and it really only makes sense to talk to people who have lived it so that we can learn from them. Now, Nine on Your Side has talked with numerous, numerous uh, former addicts and recovering addicts on, on several occasions, and we've talked to Nicole and Tony. They have both been sober for several years, and they both agree that it's far worse today than when they were in the throes of addiction. Now, we've also talked to a man named Britton Carter. Carter, and he is also a former user, four years sober now. He works with addicts at the Joseph House, and he is adamant in telling us that it's going to take the whole community to raise up against heroin. Now, Carter's experience with heroin and recovery gives him the upper hand when it comes to working with addicts. The coalition is also also interested in getting family members and faith-based groups to be a part of the advisory board. Now, that official announcement comes at 10:30 this morning, but again, they want people. People in the community to get involved. So at 10:30, we will be there. And then, if this sounds like anything you might be interested in joining, or maybe just even trying out, you can log on to wcpo.com, and we will have the very latest information on how you can get involved on there. Also, tune in nine on your side at noon. But for now, reporting live, Allie Kramer, nine on your side.